Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. Uh, February is American Heart Month, and I have a couple of experts on the topic. We're talking about matters of the heart and matters of a healthy heart for you and your family. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce you to Carol Guilfoyle. Carol, welcome to the show. Thank you. And Alicia Rousseau, welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Thank you all so much. First of all, Carol, now you are a heart awareness consultant. Yes. Now, now that to me seems unique, but when I hear that you're from Clark Memorial Hospital, I know you guys are proactive, so that doesn't surprise me that you're cutting edge. Tell me exactly what you do. Well, I um, have a program at Clark Memorial called HeartAware. People actually take an online risk assessment at our website at clarkmemorial.org. It's to see if you have risk factors for heart disease. It asks you basic questions about your health, your family health, um, height, weight, whether you're a smoker, and um, then I will plug it into the computer, get your risk file, uh, your risk factor profile, mail it to you, and invite you to come in to Clark Memorial to have an office visit with me where we'll check your cholesterol, triglycerides, um, blood pressure, body fat, blood sugar. Um, I can spend up to an hour with patients. We go over all your risk factors hmm. and uh, do nutrition co consultation for cholesterol. And sometimes people just uh, also want somebody to talk to and we like, talk about other things too. I, I like the sound of that because it sounds to me like you're proactive. It's like, let's get in front yes. of this before it's an emergency situation. Uh, I wanted to talk to you, Alicia Rousseau, about you know, I look at the statistics here, and it's alarming. The, you know, heart disease is the number one, the leading cause of death for men and women. Correct. Uh, that doesn't surprise me, sadly. But what does surprise me is that you, you all are saying that heart disease is both preventable and controllable in most cases. Yes. Okay, uh, can you expand on that a little bit for me? Yes, heart disease is the number one leading cause of death. In fact, heart disease accounts for more deaths than all cancers combined. Wow. One in four deaths in America is associated with heart disease. And as you said, it affects both men and women, people of all ages, race, backgrounds. Risk factors for heart disease would be those things that we can and cannot change. Risk factors would be that we can change would be um, our weight, diet, smoking, those things. Risk factors that we cannot change would be, of course, our family history, our age, gender. But it's important that we're aware of all of our risk factors so that we can take action and steps to prevent heart disease. Heart disease prevention would include basically a lifestyle modification. Yeah, let, let's throw up some of these up on the screen here real quick. Some of the, there we go. And I have you go over these a little bit if you yes. would one by one. Didn't mean to interrupt you here, but no. I knew we had some, some Improving our here. diet, that's choosing low fat, low sodium foods, increasing our intake of fresh fruits and veggies and mm -hmm. fiber, um, increasing our activity level through exercise, um, stop smoking, um, keeping our routine scheduled doctor's visits and taking our prescribed medications. Also, if you're diabetic, you need to monitor your blood glucose levels and keep those well controlled. All right. Uh, I, like I said, Clark Memorial Hospital, if you have any questions about your heart, your family's heart, then give us a call, 571-5263. All right, uh, Ms. Guilfoyle, if you would. Uh, I, I'm curious, when, how much does ge genetics weigh into this? Obviously, we've talked about that family history, uh, but then we talk about factors, as you mentioned, that you, that you can control, like alcohol intake, the fact that you smoke or don't smoke, whatever that may be. How much of it is genetics? How much of it can we control, I guess, is my, my question. Mm -hmm. Well, there is a, a, a big part of heart disease is genetics. Our liver makes our cholesterol and triglycerides, and um, some people can do, you know, all the healthy heart things, and because of, you know, how their liver makes cholesterol, they need to be on, you know, medicine for their cholesterol. Um, you know, so it's good that we have all those options. The, the main thing would be do all your healthy heart prevention and look into your family history and know your cholesterol numbers. We, we touched upon it a little bit, but maybe you can expand on Alicia, the, uh, the, the risk assessment. Risk assessment, if someone is, going, is interested in a risk assessment, are there certain mm -hmm. patients that you would be looking for or should everyone have a risk assessment done? I think everyone should have a risk assessment, especially as we get older, actually age pretty much 
unfortunately um, sets us up for higher risk for a lot of diseases. So, um, of course, anyone as they're getting older who'd like to participate in the screenings, anyone, as Carol mentioned, who has a strong family history, even if you yourself haven't exhibited, you know, any symptoms or signs of any problems, um, if you have a strong family history, you need to be proactive and stay on top of that. Uh, Alicia, you're in charge of uh, the community outreach. You're the community outreach coordinator. What, what does that entail exactly? Obviously, I think being on a show like this and raising community awareness, I know that's big for Clark Memorial. Yes. We appreciate that. But what, what other kind of activities do you, are you in charge of? Um, well, that's, that's a big thing. It's just getting out there in our community and letting them know our services that we have. Um, and Hardware is one of them. It's a free service, so we like to get that out there. Anyone can participate. Um, also, we have our Mended Hearts um, support group, and that is held monthly. And it's for those folks who have already suffered a heart event, whether that be a heart attack or heart surgery. It's a way for um, them and their family to get together and um, share support and encouragement to get information, education, and, and inspiration to stay on the path to being healthy. Um, and um, just lots of other events that we get out there and we try to make people aware again of our services and what we can offer them and connect them to the right resources that they need. You know, I, we, we talked in the beginning and, and we tied in Valentine's Day with Heart Awareness Month and I know uh, for some that may be silly, but, but heart, the heart is a complex organ. There's a reason why people talk about coming from the heart, stress related, emotion related. How much does that weigh in? Um, Carol, if you would, tell me a little bit about, you know, when you see folks who come from a, a job that may be high in stress, such as probably yours if you're in the medical field, um, does that really, uh, to me, really damage the heart, a high stress job? Well, it, it has... Um many factors on your heart. Stress raises your blood pressure, uh, stress can cause depression, which you know affects your, your um, heart. Um, it also um, affects our diet. A lot of people are stress eaters and they're not eating you know the proper healthy heart things. Right. So it does. Uh, all right, Ms. Rousseau. You know, when we say we've had our heart broken, there's some truth to that, right? I mean, she was mentioning that depression affects yes. her heart. I mean, you, you gals, you break our hearts all the yes. time. What are we going to do about yeah. that? Can, emotion can certainly cause a physiological response in the body. As she said, you know, an increase in heart rate, an increase in your blood pressure. So stress, anxiety, all of that certainly plays a part in our health overall, both emotional and our physical health. Yeah, well, those girls out there, man, just breaking our hearts every day. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Okay, for more information, I want you both to jump in. What's first step number one? Should we call Clark Memorial and arrange to have one of these risk assessments assessments taken? Can we get online and get good information via Clark Memorial Hospital? What, what's the answer here? Yes, you can go to our website, which once again is clarkmemorial.org. Click under screenings, and then you'll see a little hardware icon, and that's the questionnaire. When you fill that out, it will allow you to actually make an appointment with me if you'd like. Um, if you don't make the appointment at that time, you don't know your your calendar I will get an email saying you filled it out and I'll call you and ask you you know call you for an appointment uh, Alicia before we went on camera we, we were talking about the fact that it seems like this part of the country has a lot of problems with heart disease maybe more than the than the average state or states mm -hmm. with Kentucky and Indiana what do you attribute that to is that is that smoking right is um, it, it is sometimes it's it's smoking it's you know sometimes a lot of demographic um, information also has to do with risk factors um, you know Unemployment, of course, like we talked about, can increase stress um, situations, which will lead to some physical symptoms of that. Um, so, yeah, it's it's unfortunately it is high in this area. All right, for all your health care needs, Clark Memorial Hospital. Let's throw the information up on the screen. As you can tell, very compassionate professionals here. They also have answers that you need. At that number that is on the screen, put that on your refrigerator. I promise you, you'll need it. It's Heart Awareness Month. It's not all about Valentine's Day. It's about a healthy heart for you, your loved ones, your family. And ladies, I want to thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, thank you so much. Great information. You come thank back, you. Come back you. and see me, right? Mm -hmm. We'd uh, love absolutely. to. I do, I do love Clark Memorial Hospital. Just it's right across the river. Absolutely. That's no problem. Right. All right.